Dave Snyder here. It is the 12th, net, is it 12th? No, it's still the 11th of uh, July 2015. And I'm just trying to, I just overlaid this picture here. I'm just trying to build, you know, I've got this built here, but probably five times in, you know, at least. But I, you know, I'm just going to throw this up here real quick. And I was just checking, like this island, maybe, right here, creates, the, you know, has something to do with that crater too or something. But you go, uh, you can see, like, you back it up, back this off. I mean, this is where I lined up that picture. I just threw this up there, and this just fell right into place all by itself. Remember the other day I was showing this as the, uh, in that video I was showing it as the, as what splits the Red Sea, it, and it was right at the Marianas Trench. It's really interesting the way that, like, this is a mare oriental pattern in this spot right here, but it's not only a mare oriental pattern, not even. Greenland will go in here. See the shape, it, like Greenland? Okay, you see how it's got this shape at the end? It'll go, it goes like right. It's weird how it goes in here, but I mean, it, it, it'll it fit. I'm Okay, let's not say that it goes there. Look at that. Ooh, 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 look at that. That is nice. That just fell into place too. Whoa. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. Hmm. How about that? You think someone drew that picture to fit like that? I think someone might have. But it fits the whole world like that. It puts the, this picture puts the world together. No kidding. This picture, you have to go on Google Images, get this image of the Mare Oriental Basin. It, you can, all, if you think that this one's not right, you can go go to Google Earth and and download that one too, Google Moon or whatever, and and, and put it over the top. It's a it looks a little different, but it. The one from Google Earth is just missing all the details and crap. It, it still works. It'll still work just the same as this one does. It's just missing a bunch of the details. Like this one's got the details. Someone, someone drew in the details. Or they just drew it to fit. But it, I'm telling you, you can put the Earth together with this picture pretty easily. Because now I can put Central America right here in this picture. You know, I can put Central America in there. This part right here goes right there with that. I can stack that on top right here and see how that, and I've already showed how that goes together. I'm not saying they were stacked, but it's it's probably, this is probably what happened after Africa moved off of the hotspot. These were pro these islands were probably formed in, in its place when it was moved aside or whatever. Okay, this probably popped up. This may not be in the same Hot, over the hot spot today. I mean, it, it my the hot spot for this is well. It does show it here, and it does show it right here in the weather. Often that's what starts the El Nino. It is there probably. There's probably still a, a spot there for this area because the crust is thin there or something. I have no idea. I'm not uh, like I said, I'm not into it that much. I just try to figure out as far as I can. But I'm just saying this Mare Oriental. It doesn't hit here and hit there two different times, I don't think, to leave that same shape. It's from the same one impact. It's just, you know, it's spread itself around. This pattern is on each continent. It's on every continent. North America, right in the middle of the continent, right in the middle. It hap I mean, it just leaves, you'll see that in the weather, it brings its pattern up in the middle, right in the middle, sometimes, Mare Oriental. And then you'll see also the Lunar South Pole pattern in the middle of North America. And you'll also see, um, yeah, maybe that's why they say North America was like the heart of all, heart of the uh, supercontinent. It was like the center of the supercontinent. I've heard that before. It was the center, the base or something they said, the base of the supercontinent, I guess, something like that. Well, that everything was, because you'll see South American weather. America, a weather from South America, the exact pattern of South America, you'll see this V up there in the northern hemisphere. And there's no way that that weather comes from down here to the northern hemisphere, keeping its its pattern in the same shape. It had to be together at one time. And so this land up here, the, over in North America, the land will show South America sometimes in the weather, the outline of it. And you'll see like the polar vortex, boom. Polar Vortex Mare Imbrium, I think. 
your embryo on the moon. That's it's that's the print that leaves the polar vortex. It's a big full circle, full circular shape up here that's just full of just whatever. I guess the cold air or whatever, but it's like a big circle in the weather. I've seen it in the satellite. Not just the picture they draw on, on the news, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've seen it actually in the satellite and aligned it to, to the, the moon crater, Imbrium. Up here, you see that big hot spot hole right in here. I've seen, the, I've seen it yesterday. I can go back to Wonder Maps and go back in time to yesterday, and there'd be the, the big blob is in the weather right there. So you can do that on your own. You can go to Wonder Maps, go back in the little clock down, little calendar right down here at the bottom. It takes you back in time. You can click it back to the day before yesterday, and you'll see like this big round circular shape right here. With like a, it looks like a waterfall coming out of it. Like, like off the edge of the circle, there's like a waterfall coming out of it. Like an it looks like an eruption. It, I mean, it looks like this kind of. See how this comes out? There's like a circular shape, and this. But it's not, it doesn't look that big. For some reason this seems bigger than it should be, but I think it is, because look at how big that is right there. That must be my mirror oriented picture. It's just, something's too big there, a little bit. Seems like. Even though it fits everything else I have in this list. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. I'm just going to go through some of this stuff, but, uh, Here's here's the falcon weather. Doesn't want to go in there, but you see the curves in the same place. This falcon, look at that, Black Atlanta falcons. This falcon is showed itself in the same place as the eye of Horus usually does. It's this is actually it could be seen as the falcon as as I seen it. This is identical to the Atlanta falcon. Look, it is identical. Identical. I mean, you see that comes down. I mean, this identical comes down, little hook. It's what it is. I mean, that's what that is. That that emblem for the. It's the same thing, same hawk or same falcon, or whatever. But anyways, um, same place you see the eye of Horus over here, and this is usually the king cobra. It shows itself as a cobra at times. Uh, the Egyptians, I should say, seen it as a cobra. Maybe somebody else seen it as the falcon. I don't know. They must have too. They're, they're the ones that use the Horus, the falcon headed man. This sometimes it shows as the eye right here, and then it just looks like a cobra coming up. And then they got the falcon. Sometimes it looks like just the falcon, like this. I mean, it's pretty interesting, to say the least. So I'm just going to pull up the black hole and line it up to this picture, I think. See what, or see how it aligns to it. Not this one. See, there's another falcon like shape there. Another one. That's another time of another day. I can't remember. It doesn't have a date on it. That is a cool weather pattern. What the? You know, okay. The uh, weather. A person that teaches weather just commented on my video. A video, an older video, when I was pretty rough around the edges about what I, what I was showing and, and the way I showed it. But it was still those that information was still legit. I mean I, I, what I was showing was all all the same pattern in different places on the earth. Whether you know he it's hard for I was kind of an asshole at the time. Cuz I was just bitter about the whole all this crap. But anyways, like I said this been my life that way cuz I'm mad about all of it. A lot of stuff. Anyways, uh this one here is like the falcon. It's in the same place. This is in the Gulf of Alaska, and it's not showing the blob. The blob is like right here. See the circular pattern right here? It's only like half of it. That's where the blob shows. It shows up in this area, I should say, all up in here. Or maybe that's it right there. It shows up something like that, like this with this around the outside. It's a big pattern. Like it looks like Antarctica with a big circle in the center, because that's basically what it is. It's Antarctica. I'll show a picture right now. That one up here. Um, right here. No, it's this one. Ah, it's down here. There it is. See that circle? Right there? That's the, the Pacific blob right there. See that? This is the Pacific, North Pacific, Gulf of Alaska. That is the Pacific blob in the weather. And, it, and it's outlined like Antarctica. It looks like this shape is like Antarctica the outline of Antarctica right here with a big circle in the center. 
They used to show Antarctica with a big circle in the center on Google Earth in the past. They don't show that anymore. But you can go to Google Images and look up Antarctica, and you'll you'll find a picture of the Antarctica with the big circle in the center of it. And it looks just like this big circle like this. Except there's the waterfall that I talked about right there. And there's like another pattern right here that is similar. But this is like a mer I mean, this you'll see a lot of patterns in the Gulf of Alaska <clears throat> that look like different areas of the moon all the time. I mean, Imbrium is up here. I'm sure of it. I know Mer Imbrium's up here. I know Mer Oriental's up here. For sure, Mer Oriental's up here. And the Lunar South Pole is up here somewhere, I'm sure. It's got to be there, too. If all the rest of them are there, it's got to be there, too. But that's the blob. There it is. Boom. Look how, I mean, I have it oversized a little bit. You can see that it's oversized. But, um, I mean, we'll measure that real quick. We'll just cut some off of it. 1,600 miles. Almost 1,700 miles across. So I would just take off 300, about three or 400 miles. And you still got a 12, even if you took off 600 miles off that sucker, it'd still be a thousand mile diameter hole in the Gulf of Alaska. That's not, it's not like a blob that's building up of stuff that's building into a blob. It's, it's that's the shape of the ocean floor. That is the shape of the ocean floor. That's not the sun shaping it as a circle. That is the shape at the ocean floor. Like it used to be a polar region right here. The poles probably have, like they showed in Antarctica with the big circle at the bottom because that's a polar, this is a pole down here. Okay, well that's probably how these big circles right here, you know, are created. They're, it's like a, um, I just call it a polar spot or something, I guess, from the past. I, I mean, that's what I would think it is. It's so perfectly round. It's, I mean, I, would, could, I wouldn't imagine that be this center being the impact. I think that might be a polar area where the moon is, like, attracted to that spot or something. You know, because it pull, opposite poles attract, like poles repel. So if it's a, ma it has to be a magnetic attraction. If the poles reverse on the, like it's, they say, it's been all, the moon's always been moving away from the Earth. They they always want to say always, but they know damn well it has not always been moving away from the Earth. <laughs> there ain't no way. I mean, it looks like it, it's come back a few times, or changed its face a lot of times. It's changed its face a lot of times. Because this, these areas that I show you of the moon, where I show the moon, those areas you can't see them. With, you can't even see them today on the moon. But they definitely face the Earth. Definitely, the craters that I overlaid and show you the. I mean, they definitely face the Earth. The lunar South Pole face the Earth. Mare Oriental face the Earth. Smithy Eye face the Earth. Mare Moscovy, it's face the Earth. Tycho face the Earth. I mean, it's still we can still see that one, but. Mare Imbrium is the one that faces the Earth today, and we can see that all the time. Mare Imbrium is, all, is here. This is probably it right here. It's a perfect circle. Could be it right there, matter of fact. It's not a perfect circle, but it's damn near perfect. You know, you look at it on the moon, it's like a big, almost near perfect circle. Circle. It's bigger than that, though, I think. But anyways, that's the Pacific Blob. I think that's a pretty interesting picture of it, too. And then I'll show you the other uh, black hole. which is similar to it. I mean, it's very similar to that picture. Yep, and it was in a whole different place on the Earth. There you go. Whoa, look at that. Match that picture from earlier. See that? Mm-hmm. And this is from the Atlantic. But it's, uh, being from the Atlantic, at least it was like just above where we seen the one in South America earlier today, where I grabbed that one from here and aligned it to the um, Mare Oriental picture. Well, that black hole picture comes from right here over the Azores, so that's another place where they got another big circle. Look at the circle that was there that day. That's a perfect circle in the center of that, showing itself in the weather, because somewhere on the Earth there is a hole like that. There's holes like this on the Earth. On, on the surface of the ocean or something. I'm telling you. Or it comes from the land. Either way, it's come from somewhere. That circular pattern with the waterfall. Same thing as what I just showed you in the Gulf of Alaska. Here, I've got the picture's right down here. Bring back up. And I really want that up, the weather guy to, to chime in on this. No kidding. But 
let me know what you, what what's going on here. Whoa, there it is. Look at that resemblance there. With the waterfall thing coming out and everything. And it's like you got the corner over here. Here, let me back it off a little. I mean, wow. This one here is Antarctica. This one here, I'll tell you right now, is the shape of exact shape of Antarctica. The cupcake pattern. See, it looks like a muffin right here. It goes. In, this is. It's the same as Antarctica, just like that. It looks like a cupcake, just like that, or a muffin. I should. Say. I think it looks more like a, either way, a muffin. I'll just call it a muffin. And there you go. It's got the same muffin outline, and it goes right there. You put the two over the top of each other, and they go together. I mean, there's no no doubt about that. They definitely go together. So, and I got other ones where that the Antarctic pattern. I want I want to get some answers on that one from from this guy. So I'm gonna show that. Try to show that stuff. Try to stick to one thing. Let's see. So we get the um, what was I just talking about? Oh shit. Um, this pattern. There was one I clicked on earlier that I wanted to show it to you a little bit. And there's like the bird weather. Well, this doesn't show that. It's, this isn't that good. But right here, this this little spot right here, it's on the moon. That spot's on the moon for sure. Um, that's the polar vertex. That's what I was talking about. It's not like that. It's not, I'm not talking about those pictures right there. You know, like they show on the news. I was just kind of getting, seeing how how it would line up to what I had there. But that's just garbage. That's not. South America will also go right inside here. You know what I mean? It, it, all these ones are pretty well, pretty much aligned. I'm just trying to find a. We put Mo up there. South Pole right there. Oh, sh I got to show you the Lunar South Pole one. It's got a pretty similar outline, but... It okay, so here's the Lunar South Pole pattern. Perfect Lunar South Pole pattern that I see one day. This is a perfect Lunar South Pole pattern reversed over the Earth. Perfect one. I mean, damn near perfect. This is on. You can go get this yourself if you want. This picture, September fifteenth, two thousand fourteen, and and then there's the other one. But this right here, if you take the lunar south pole and overlay it over this spot and put this in Schrodinger's crater inside the Schrodinger crater, it is an absolute perfect match all the way around the whole picture. I am not kidding. And it, this is a little oversized, maybe not too much. It's it's not that old, much oversized. I have to pull it down to the equator or down here, so it's changed. It. Yeah, it's probably a little bit oversized, I guess. But anyways, that is the perfect lunar south pole pattern, no doubt about that. No kidding. Schrodinger and the rest of the lunar south pole. It's all in there. All this is in there. It's all in there. Do the overlay. So I would like to know why that. That's in the weather. If you're a weather guy, that's in the weather. This pattern is in the weather every single day. Every single day on the Earth. This pattern is on the Earth, somewhere on the Earth. It's, it shows itself in this place <coughs> very often during this time of year. It shows the suit. All these typhoons are coming from the Schrodinger Crater. The print that's on the Earth from the Schrodinger Crater or something. <coughs> and I think they start in Guam most of the time. Right over that, that spot in right there where Guam is, that big curve in the center of the Marianas Trench. So I'm just saying, that's every typhoon, dude. You're a weather guy. Every typhoon, I'm not, I'm not kidding, every typhoon that hits the Philippines or any of those, Japan or China, is a Schrodinger pattern reversed and the lunar south pole goes like this. That's, I just showed a video the other day showing, just doing it by, you know, playing it by ear, just showing, as doing it as I've seen it. So that's another one I would like to get some. 
answers on and I've also done the Hurricane Sandy is the same thing Hurricane Sandy is a lunar south pole hurricane no no doubt about that too it's a perfect Schrodinger print backwards perfect I got the images from NASA and, and they're all from NASA so I mean they match perfect perfectly I mean, they could, they, we could, if we had better images of the moon, it would match perfectly, I should say. But with what we got, they match really well. So, anyways, I just want to point that out. One more thing for somebody that wanted to see the Indian Ocean. And it's right here. Right here. This is a, one that I saved a long time ago. Obviously, because it's kind of far up my list, but it's, um, let's see how it goes with Mirror Oriental. I should do that. Okay, this Mirror Oriental, it, this one won't line up with this Mirror, Mirror Oriental the way that it is, but if I moved it down, I could make it, it, it would fit in there, but let's just get rid of mode first. Just take a look at this, the way it fits the ocean floor here. Oh, wait, this is one down here. stuff here. Not too far. Okay, here we go. Now the reason I line this one up this way is I've seen this pa this pathway basically the first I mean I had it I kind of close to this. I was lining this up first, but then I, I noticed this path right here matched after I went back and looked at it a lot, while later. And I, and see how this kind of swirls up into this little curve right there really good, right? And it, and, these, and it holds right into the line. It's really good. Right there. See how it holds in the line? Okay, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this looks like the ocean floor down there, right? And there's also that ridge right there on the ocean floor. And that matches this line right here pretty damn well. I mean, it's this is like, you know, this is Europe under here. There's Spain right there. So, I'm just saying, it fits the Indian Ocean really nice. See that? Def I mean, I could probably move it down and it would fit too, but I, I'm trying to line up like Spain in this area where you can see that on the ocean floor. It looks like there was a volcano, volcano there or somewhere right in here that probably where Spain popped up from on that ridge or something as it moved across. Something like that. It just use, you've got to use your imagination on a lot of this stuff, but it's obvious that it was there some, you know, at some point, somehow. So, everybody have a good, uh, Good uh, morning, I guess. Yeah.